I'm Carlo Fadda, I'm a senior scientist on genetic diversity, working for Bioversity International and based in Nairobi, Kenya. My given name is Dejeni and my surname is Mangusto and usually call me Mangusto, that's European style. Seeds for Need is really an initiative that uh, was developed by Bioversity f five years ago and uh, started the implementation in 2010. And the idea is that because of climate change, farmers are not uh, harvesting enough and their production system is put at threat by climatic changes. So they need different traits. And the idea was that the fastest and easiest way to get those traits is to look at the uh, gene bank. Uh, so we look particularly in Ethiopia. We started in Ethiopia where they have a very large collection of barley and durum wheat. And we took some material to test in the field to see whether this was really adapted to climate change. So that was the beginning. Uh, we actually started working with farmers uh, in 2012. We took farmers, representative farmers in two sites, in northern Ethiopia, one is Agra Salam, uh, uh, located at about um, 850 kilometers from Addis, and the other is at Geregara, uh, which is located at about nearly 550 kilometers from Addis. Uh, we tested those four, 400 varieties in those two locations and in each location we took about 30 representative farmers, 50 male and 15 females, to evaluate those 400 materials. Uh, we had the rating for each based on three traits, three farmers preferred traits. One is the tillering capacity, how vigor the plant, how produce tillers. And the other is the spike length of the plant, and the third is earliness. Based on this, we able to come up with 50 top-ranked varieties from the 400, and those uh, 50 top-ranked, we dispatched about 32 to different farmers, and the farmers are testing the wonders field now. As crop scientist, you can do as independently, but you can evaluate the materials from your own perspective. Scientists have their own variety evaluation criteria, and research, no, farmers have their own variety evaluation criteria. So if you independently work, you miss what farmers can contribute to the evaluation selection of the material. So if you jointly work, at the end of the day, you will produce varieties that is acceptable by the farmers, easily adopted by the farmers, and solve the problem that the farmers have at hand. So it is better to use in participating farmers instead of doing a lot. Salas manu hayrat gaberoch takurakuron gum bifok besertena arat motu zuriyoch boski debeku ne ikametu na tashigo bezebenya halata tandekena andiyam lemsali yetezero azrit bechigir bigalet na bitafa kezi ostawotu yeneberon zer la matakat weyim demo yaldarasu indi ders le madrig The point is that even if a seed you find it adapted to certain climatic condition might still not be used by the farmers because it doesn't meet their cultural needs, etc. So the immediate next step is to test the material under farmer condition. And then the farmers test it. We normally give a large amount of diversity and, uh, and the farmers use it and they see whether they like it or not. And then we narrow it down to something that farmers really like. Now, even, if, even when farmers like it, it's not enough because those seeds are not commercial and therefore they might not be found uh, in the market. So if something happens and the seeds are lost, the farmers cannot grow the crop again. So then you need to make them available to the farmers. And to do that, we normally try to understand the seed system, so the ways in which farmers exchange seeds and how they get the seeds, and we uh, try to strengthen it. And normally one very efficient way of doing so is to establish a community seed bank so that the seed is available, is stored, and if farmers lose them, uh, they can always get it from there. 